Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Infinite Series Omega Red. Been waiting for a while for a Mar uh, Marvel to release, or in this case Hasbro to release, a smaller version of Omega Red. We don't really get a lot of Omega Reds. Toy Biz did a great Omega Red, but uh, not since then have we got really gotten ourselves this villain again. Now he comes to us in a smaller format. It's recommended for ages four and up, as it does have small parts. I guess really more so this the tentacles, uh, the tendrils that he uh, he fires out. He's a good-looking figure. I think he's going to look better when we get him out of packaging. It kind of looks like his uh, his straps are just really loose, which, again, was an issue plaguing the Toy Biz version of him. Needless to say, on the back of the package, collect them all. Other figures available were Deathlock, there's Marvel's Ares, Ant-Man, uh, Marvel's Valkyrie, and Marvel's Cyclops. The read-up for Omega Red says this mutant was already a twisted criminal before he was given super soldier powers by the Russian government. His carb carbonadium tentacles are fearsome weapons, but also a curse. The metal slowly poisons his body, forcing him to sap the life, uh, life force from others in order to survive. That is a bummer. That is a real bummer. What I am going to do, though, is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back... We're going to get a better look at Omega Red. But before we do that, I also just want to say, I'm not crazy on this packaging. I really could have not. I could have just said nothing. I could have just said, you know what? Stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. All that kind of stuff. I could have just faded out, fade back into the figure. But you know what? I just want to quickly say, I'm not crazy on this packaging. It To me, I would have loved if they had just stayed with the Marvel Universe clamshell cases that we were, we had already had. These figure packages, to me, looks like something like a knockoff toy. I'm not crazy about this. With that being said, guys, stay tuned. Spot's going to have more coming your way. Don't go anywhere. More coming soon. So, with Spot's rant over, let's have a look at the figure. Um... He's not spectacular. He's not a great figure. Uh, the end result, I think, is a figure that's a little on the messy side. What do you mean by messy? Well, he doesn't come with a display stand, which I hate to sound like a broken record, but especially a figure like this, for as much as what's going on, he really needed a display stand to properly pose him. Yes, I know I could probably just use an existing display stand from another Marvel Universe figure, but come on, Hasbro, you could have given us a stand. Um, he's also got these uh, ten tendrils, tentacle uh, projectiles, but you can't bend them. Now, I understand that they're so small, you probably wouldn't have been able to wireframe these, but you can't really do anything with them. They're just always going to be in this position. I thought initially I could just bend them and stuff. No, you can't really do that. You could heat them and then manipulate them to a little bit more what you, you are fancying, but... Out of packaging, you can't really do too much with them. The other thing that plagues this figure is the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads aren't actually adhered to anything. Um, I think what I could do is probably just glue the belt, because I really don't want to. I don't want to restrict the torso area. Not that you can really do much with it, but I don't really want to restrict this. And I, what I might do is just kind of glue a couple of these pieces to the back. Like, if it was like this, I could still move the figure. Not well, but I could still move the figure. The shoulder pads just are really loose. They don't they do not do anything. I, you know, I know they put them in such a way that you at least don't have to worry about moving the arms and these preventing the arm movement, but I just don't... I don't, I don't like how loose and they, you just can't do anything with these. Uh, his face is okay. It has paint, but almost by the fact that he has as much paint and detail in his face as he does, all his details get lost. His teeth don't stand out very well because they're a lighter color. They're not white. They're almost like a, like a greeny yellow color. 
and his eyes don't stand out very well. Now, I could be nitpicking, but I wish that the areas around his eyes were a little more white so that the red would stand out a little bit more. It also seems too like his face is seems a little big, like his head should have been a little bit smaller for the size of his body. Um, he's also got some pretty decent shading in the arms where once again it's this white coloring and they put the blue in there. I'm not knocking at all the addition of the blue. I think it's it's a it's a good way to add details to an existing figure that's white. If it was all white and there was nothing on it, then all of a sudden it would be like, well, I just feel like he doesn't have a lot of paint. At least he has enough white, uh, blue in it to take away from the fact that he's got the same similar coloring in his shoulder pads. Having said that, though, I just kind of wish they had done more with his, at least around the eye area. I think that bothers me the most, just around the eye area where it seems like his eyes get lost. Like the ponytail... Uh, it does also. I don't know why. No, it doesn't. I was going to say it looks like it rotates the same way as the Toy Biz version, but no, it's uh, it's just in a fixed piece. Uh, he's a good size by comparison. Let's, you know, we'll bring in Green Hulk. That's one we were already looking at, but Green Hulk, about the same height. Obviously, a lot broader on Hulk here than Omega Red. It's, it, it, you know, it's a good good size comparison. I don't know. I just I just feel like Omega's Omega Reds. Maybe it's just the fact that his his face is long. It's not so much that it's too big on a width level, but it's it seems like it's almost too long in the head. Uh, also, his knee pads I find are a bit of an issue too because it doesn't. It always kind of makes it look like his knees are always bent instead of them being straight. That's as far as you can really bend them. You can't do any more bending to the knees than that. You can sure, of course, bend them further back because he does have a double bend at the knee, but that's as far forward as the knees go. Speaking of articulation, Omega Red does have a ball hinge socket in the head, ball hinges in the shoulders, swivel at the bicep, single bend at the elbow, uh, rotation and hinge, which I, I really like that he's got the hinge in the hands. Whoops. Don't worry, it's not broken, Don't, it's not broken. I know everybody just went, oh, no, it's not broken. It just popped out. Uh, he, but he does have the pegged hinge hands. Uh, he has the upper torso ball joint. He has uh, no swivel, surprisingly enough, no swivel in the torso. This whole section here is one piece. Legs go forward and back, out, swivel the thigh. As I already mentioned, the double bend at the knee. Swivel at the calf and hinge and pivot in the foot. That's probably how I'm going to display him. I, I do like the, the hands being curled back like that. Like he's just enraged. He wants the world to know it. Display stand, though, is a crucial. I think I'm going to try to... I'm going to go through the ones I have. Find a display stand. Put this guy on it immediately. Like, display stand for me is the way to go. Is he a great figure? Yes. Is he a perfect figure? Not quite. Uh, he does things well, but I feel like things such as his face could have been pr improved on. Whether it may be his face being a little bit smaller, maybe bring some of those details a little more out. Not maybe as much blue around the eye area. He's a good looking figure, but he's not a figure that wows me. Omega Red, I'm going to give him only a 7. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends... Uh, what what was this new line called? It wasn't Marvel Universe. I don't know. Marvel Infinite Series. I think that's what it was called. Uh, we're having a look today at Omega Red. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots in your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.